Facebook Collective. My name is James Ertz. I'm the chief architect of WOW for a brand called Dynamo Entrepreneur. We support experts in living well, doing good in the world, so they too can share their extra love, bandwidth, energy, money, whatever it may be. Not only with themselves, but with the community around us that needs us. Those at-risk kids that are considering suicide. Those at-risk kids that are living in poverty, that are starving, that are living on our streets. There's all kinds of kids out there that have lost their way, that are hooked on drugs, that are overdosing on drugs. I know. I was there. I lived that life. I've lost four friends to drug overdoses. I've lost one friend to gang violence. And I can assure you, it's not fun burying your friends. So, here's an invitation to you. Monday, August 29th, in beautiful Niagara Falls, Ontario. Mo Mondays is taking place at the Hard Rock Cafe. Okay, it's hosted by Ronnie Fisher, Mariola Charniak, founded by the incredible Michelle Naray, which I hope is gonna be there. So, we are going to be sharing our stories of overcoming adversity, overcoming challenges, overcoming things in our very own life, not only to support our lifestyle moving forward, but also to support yours, to inspire and to empower, to share these stories that are in our hearts and in our minds, things that we can share with you that is gonna make a significant difference in your life and your very own personal development. So here it is, a call to action. Ravers and Rockers united and strong. Let's talk about more Mondays because we love what's going on. And there's time for some justice and time for some truth. Let's realize what we can do. On our honor, we will try. There's a duty to be done and we say I. There's a reason here and a reason above. And our honor is to try and our duty is love. Facebook Collective. Come with me where the fire burns bright. You can even see better than by candlelight. Someday soon we won't be left behind because we will see more Mondays Niagara from our mind. Thank you for tuning in. And that's what it is. It's all about tuning in. Abundance is right here. Look at this. Abundance is everywhere around us. We live in parallel universes. You want to choose to live in a negative universe? Go for it. You want to choose to live in a positive, loving place? Well, guess what? It's right here. It's right here for you to build the skills, to learn, to learn how to grow from others, masters that have the experience in this world, or simply by making the choice, by knowing there's a better life right here, right now. And once again, I want to see you come out to Mo Mondays Niagara, August 29th, where I'm gonna share my story. Race cars, rave bars, and rock stars from excess to success. Mo Monday's crew, I would like to go with you. I would like to sail the ocean blue. Mo Monday's crew, have you treasures in your hold? Do you fight with pirates brave and bold? Out of our windows looking in the night, we can see a packed house on Monday, August 29th. Ronnie Fisher, Mariola Charniak, thank you so much for allowing me to share. Creating a platform with Michelle Naray to share what's in our hearts, to share what's in our minds, to share that message of the mess left behind. I have a very, very special dedication that I would like to share with the world. I have a dedication for those lost souls. I have a dedication for those kids that have lost their way at a very young age. I have a dedication for kids that are going through poverty, that are hungry, that are involved in crime, that are hooked on drugs, and that are involved with gang violence. I know this life. I know this life all too well. Without getting into my story too, too much, because you're going to hear all about it on Monday night, I lived a lifestyle that involved crime, gang violence, drug abuse, and even my own overdose at the age of 30. From the age of 15 to 30, I was involved into that life and everything was an absolute blur. The reason I'm so passionate about this is because I was a good kid. I was a good kid that made a bad choice. I smoked my first joint of marijuana. And not to be a hypocrite and to say do or don't do it, all I want to share with you is what's out there when we make choices, irrelevant of what it is in our life, that take us down a path of pain, of anger, of hatred, all things that are poison in our veins. And until I realized that we have this thing called the emotional guidance system within us that we were given before we came into this human phase. We were given this 
by source, by source energy to guide us, almost like a GPS that guides us all around this 3D world that we have a choice to see as a negative place, as a dark place with dark glasses on or put those rose colored glasses on and see what the world has in store for us. Now, a lot of kids don't have the means, they don't have the wherewithal, they don't have the experience to know any better, to know that there is a better life out there, or to even know that someone cares. Well, guess what? I care, and I challenge you to care. Not only care about yourself, but also care about those kids that need you. Not to just give them a fish, not to just teach them how to fish, but to teach them how to teach. We teach them how to teach, and we're gonna solve world hunger together. The internet is a very powerful tool, and I know you're watching me right here, right now. We only have one option. That one option is to be good. There's no such thing as privacy anymore. These kids are messing up their lives. They're messing up their lives sexting. They're sending new pictures of each other, you know, through text means, through Messenger, through Facebook, through Instagram, whatever it may be. They're getting involved with drugs that are designer, okay? Even back when I was a kid, I'm 44 now. When I was 15, they were a little bit more natural, but still, there were a lot of chemicals that we can get involved with. Now, my best friend called me when I was, I guess I was 33. I had already been out of the scene for about, what, three years? And he said, hey, why don't you come out? And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not into the whole club scene anymore. Out of sight, out of mind. I hear that music, you know, and I want to drop a hit, and I want to start dancing. I'm going to dance all night long. And there goes two to three days of my life, sometimes a week. So I said, no, you know what, thank you so much. Why don't you and the friends go do your thing and call me when you were gonna have a barbecue in the backyard sometime drinking some protein shakes. So they went out, okay? Guess what? Guess what? The next day I got a call from his wife. James, he's dead. And I can assure you, that was not a good moment in my life. Pain raced through me like you couldn't imagine. The craziest part is it was one pill. This is a guy that said moderation won't kill you. Just come on out. One pill isn't going to kill you. Well, guess what it did? It's like putting a bullet in a gun and putting it to your head. You don't know what's in that pill. We don't know what's in that pill. We don't know the crap that's going around for greed, for people that have no idea what they're doing to these kids' lives, nor do they care. So, I challenge you, if you are out there, you can make a choice. And once again, I'm not being a hypocrite and say don't do it or do it. All I'm saying is if you're out there, make good, wise choices and make sure that you understand the ripple effect of your choices with other people around you, especially kids. Here it is, a call to action. Go out there and make a difference, okay? Go out there and make a difference by sharing your voice. Each and every one of us are experts. We have at least 10,000 hours in pain. We have pain and we have pleasure. You can share stories of your pain because other people that are going through that pain need to hear what you have to say. Not only say, but write it down, okay? People learn in different ways. There's auditory, there's visual, and there's kinesthetic, all right? We receive differently. So it's not necessarily about the vehicle that you choose to communicate in. It's also about the vehicle that they receive in. So please be conscious of that. And ideally, every presentation that you make, every communication that you make, you wanna make it effective, make sure that you have all three involved. Auditory, visual, kinesthetic. That's why I'm doing this. I'm here, I'm on my phone, I have it kinesthetically in my hands, you know, I can play around, I can walk around, it's somewhat interactive, and you can hear me, and you can see me. So. Here it is, one more time, a call to action. Make a significant difference in your community and go out there and share your love. So on a final note, once again, my name is James Ert, jamesert.com, dynamoentrepreneur.com. I'm the chief architect of WOW for Dynamo Entrepreneur. You can see me on Rogers Television, channel 10 on the Dynamo Show. And on a final note, I would love to share this with you. come and we want to go home dream big work smart play now and believe